down the stretch between him and Luca, you know, being able to find one another and again, you know, Kai being able to step up and make a big three uh, to help us win the game. How did you think Rashawn played when a lot of the guy hurt? Yeah, we talked about that in the locker room. Um, you know, I thought he played great for us on both ends, offensively and defensively. And uh, again, um, you know, we were going with him uh, instead of DP tonight and I thought he responded in a positive way. He helped, he really helped us win this game tonight. Tell us about that steal he got up on LeBron pass. Yeah, that was a, a heck of a tip um, and to come up with the steal. Um, and then, you know, just understand he gave us great uh, looks on the offensive end, being able to screen uh, to, get, to help the uh, ball handle and get layups. And then I thought his defense was really good. I, I thought at the top miss that there was a lot of carryover from uh, our practice yesterday. You won the game, which is great, but do you leave here just the way the fourth quarter went down for your team? A little, a little upset about that? No, no. Why would you be upset? You won. <laughs> uh, shit. Hey, that the game's over. Now we move on to get ready uh, for Thanksgiving tomorrow. And uh, again, have practice on Friday. There's no one upset. That, that, that's a great game against a very talented team. Jason, how have you seen the chemistry between Luka and Kyrie grow from last season to this season? Mm -hmm. Uh, the, you know, the, the biggest thing is just time. The more time you get to spend with someone, you get to know them. And uh, last year with the trade, um, the train's moving, everybody's moving, everyone's trying to you know, uh, get to know each other. But I think this summer, um, also preseason, um, we, we were abroad uh, for a couple weeks uh, for, for training camp. And so um, just understanding the time together, and you can see that, uh, and they're both very talented. So they're not afraid of the moment. I thought Luca's uh, demeanor and his uh, talk in the locker up and the, um, on the bench when the game became close, he was smiling. He enjoys those moments, and, and also Kai is too. And so when you have two of them out there, um, you know you have the opportunity to go to either one. And I thought again, um, and then we put to rest that those two can coexist, um, and they're playing at a high level for us right now. In that vein, down the stretch, uh, this makes you guys seven or one in clutch games. You've got both of those guys in. How much, di how much different is that for a coach to know that you really have an either or situation? You're going to trust those two guys to make the right play. Yeah, when you have quarterbacks uh, like you know Luca and Kai, the trust is high. Um, not taking the time out to play it out. Um, understand, we, we, I believe we're going to get a great look. Uh, it's up to a lot of times it's not going to be Luca or Kai that's going to, you know, a lot of times they're going to get double teamed, but Luca gets double teamed and he makes a heck of a pass to Kai. Kai does what he does. He, he's in no panic, catches and, and shoots the ball and uh, makes a big shot for us to win. Um, coach, uh, up until Lively, you know, got her 10 rebounds. Did a great job in, um, in short rows, finding the corner three. I think that's very noticeable about bottom. And then, Given him the opportunity, what have you seen from his growth from the startup until now? Yeah, I think uh, one, his voice, he's getting comfortable. Um, and then we're asking him to play make. Um, you know, understanding when you have uh, guys like Luca and Kai, they're going to get double teamed. And a lot of times the first pass is to Lively. And his ability, I think, um, to pass and his basketball cue is extremely high. And so uh, he's done an incredible job for us uh, here early in the season. Um, but again, I think he also gave us some offensive rebounds here tonight that kept our offense going. And uh, again, rim running, he puts a lot of pressure on the defense and, and he causes a problem. Jason, what were you guys able to do to build that 20 point lead, not just on offense, but on, from a defensive standpoint? Yeah, I, 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 a lot of carryover from yesterday. We had a great practice yesterday. And so um, I thought the tone was set right off the bat with Grant, uh, Fallon, and uh, uh, LeBron. Physicality we talked about, um, and we showed it right off the bat. And then also taking care of the ball. I think, you know, we take care of the ball against a team like the Lakers and get a look. Um, that's, that helps you, you know, push you in a position to be successful.
successful, and if you're making them, uh, that's what helped us grow that lead up to 20. Josh also had some key baskets that were taken in there. For Josh was great for us tonight on the offensive end. They made, made some open shots. Uh, we got a ton of uh, corner threes tonight, um, and, and Josh was able to knock them down. Josh, um, when you look at D. Jones, knocked them down too for us. Uh, and there in that fourth quarter, we, we had a ton of corner threes that just didn't go down for us. Hey, Coach, another one on, on Lively. Just, you know, seeing him through training camp and, you know, the first stretch of the season here, is there anything that's shown you why it is that he's able to process all this information that's coming at him so quickly and not apply it? Yeah, I think uh, we talk about, um, we talk about Lively's maturity as a 19-year-old, um, not not just as a basketball player, but as a as a person, he had to go through some stuff. Uh, when you talk about taking care of his mom, he had to grow up fast. Um, you talk about paying the bills, uh, the responsibility of uh, real life. Um, and you can see that the carryover on the court is, is extremely high. And, uh, and then you add the care factor along the way. It's all about winning. And, uh, that, that's who he is. And uh, we're lucky to have him you know, part of the Mavs family. Jason, uh, LeBron's pretty good at breaking hearts, so he had a great fourth quarter leading them back, and then he gets that last shot. You had a good look. What were you thinking with it, the ball in his hands with a chance to, to tie it there? Uh, he's going to make it. You know, that's what he does. Um, but we got lucky. He came up short. Oh. <laughs>